have a complete defensive scheme, you can be confident in going into any game. You need to have a dynamic run D that you can go to whenever they line up in those big, heavy under center set. We have to have multiple answers depending what formation they throw at us. Now today we'll be going over two different setups with the first being SS scrape three out of three, four under. This is our go-to play call when they are overloading one side of the field with tight ends and just don't have balanced sets. This does a great job of setting the edge and forcing the runs back inside. The second play call is going to be cover four quarters also out of three, four under. We will use this when they come out in a balanced set and can run the ball either way. This will allow us to not get out leveraged and to really have a balanced run D which ever side they go to. Now these plays are going to be so effective for us because even though they are going to lock down versus the run, they are also going to give us a super solid pass D when our opponent comes out in an under center heavy formation with a cover four quarters look and a cover three match D. But the strong safety scrape three can also give us very good edge heat and get us some big sacks. So I'm going to be breaking down these pasties in depth on my website Scheme Kings. Those will be live on the site right now. I also have a ton more out for the Steelers zone blitz defense on the site and this will unlock everything and make it one of the best defenses in Madden 22. So if you want to check Scheme Kings out and take this D to the next level, I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. So for this video, we're going to be continuing my Dick LeBeau Pittsburgh Steelers zone blitz defense and we will be running out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. And then we already have a ton out for this scheme. So I made a playlist with everything out so far and I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description below. So you should definitely check that out after this video. Hey guys, so I want to hop on the practice field for a minute. Just kind of walk you through these rundies, what little adjustments we can make, what makes them so good and kind of what formations you want to call each one against. Then after that, I have some gameplay footage showing it, you know, working in game like my normal video. So we're always going to run out of three, four under. Now, personnel wise, this is a normal three, four set. We are going to have good run stuffers. If you look, if you watch my intro video to this scheme, I went over my my abilities. I have two inside stuff. So obviously we're going to put one at our nose tackle, our middle defensive tackle, then put the other one at one of your three, four defensive ends. As far as our linebackers, I try to get a good mix between, you know, speed coverage ability with some run stuff. And so personnel isn't super important for this scheme. This is more about the X's and O's and, you know, knowing when to call each one. So we're going to start with this SS scrape three, strong safety scrape three. Now what you're going to notice is the strong safety is going to walk down in the ball. It's going to give us a really interesting look along the line of scrimmage. This is going to make it really tough for people to get to the outside of us and outnumber us on that side of the ball. So when we want to call this, we want to call it against something like single back wing pair, where they have three tight ends on that side of the field, really trying to overload the strong side. The other thing with SS scrape three, we want to have auto flip on. I like to turn auto alignment to base, but always auto auto flip on then the strong safety is always gonna come to the strong side of the ball. He's always gonna go to the overloaded side. So something like single back wing pair where they have those three tight ends or, you know, wing strong. They have a full back on the strong side and two tight ends or pistol strong where once again, full back, a receiver and a tight end on all one side of the ball. That is when we want to go to SS scrape three. Now we'll go, I'll hop on the practice field in a sec. Then also at a three, four under, we got cover four quarters. Now this is where I really like to call it against balanced sets. Now these plays are really for these like under center or pistol offenses where they have a ton of tight ends running backs on the field. We're not calling this against spread looks. I have other good, you know, shotgun run defense coming up later. This is really like those want to pound the rock team. So this you're not going to use quite as much because there's less balanced sets. When people have big, heavy personnel, you're usually going to get something overloaded. But for example, strong slot here, we have two receivers on the left side of the ball. Then we have a fullback and a tight on the other. That is a balanced set. We would go to our cover four quarters because there's no point in walking down our strong safety, really overloading the strong side when they can still run weak and have a numbers advantage there. So that is where we wouldn't call it against wing pair, but something about like wing tight U. They have two tight ends on one side of the field and then they have a receiver and a tight end on the other. That is where this cover four quarters would come into play. Okay, so we're going to come out and pistol strong eye wing first and we'll just come out in Raven's power. So we see strong eye wing. We know, okay, that's going to have a heavy set one side of the ball. We're going to come out in SS scrape three. Now you're going to see that auto walk down from our strong safety. We see that 
Now look at our numbers on that side of the ball. That is what I love about this. He's not even coming in the box. He's getting it on the line of scrimmage. Now we have another player walk down over those tight ends. That is going to make it so difficult to get outside, out leverage us on that side of the ball. That is really why I love this. Now, I in this formation, these sets with this cover three SS grade three, I like to use this high safety and I like to walk him down. Now we really gotta be aware of pass defense here, understand his assignment. I'm gonna break that down on Scheme Kings, but if you're not gonna join Scheme Kings and you know wanna you run this, just be aware of your assignment. You're gonna be deep third, but it is gonna be match coverage responsibilities on this play as well. Now, one of the big underrated things about Run D guys that you really need to be aware of, something that is really gonna help you determine whether this is a, gonna be a good run defense for you is checking run fits. Now, I, don't, I think a lot of people know about it. Some people don't for sure. And basically how we check our run fits, you're gonna hold L2 on PlayStation and you're gonna hold circle. Now, holding circle is gonna give your, your, your run fits to the right side of the ball. Circle's the right, you know, button. Then if you hold L2 and press square, that is gonna give our run fits to the left side of the ball. So if the run is run left, That'll be the run fits. If the run is run right, that is the run fits. So if we look here, guys, we have eight players in run fits, which is really good. We're bringing our strong safety in the box. He is gonna be in a run fit. So I like that. Eight players in run fits, that is ideal. But now we are gonna be using this high player as well. And if they run weak, we can get really aggressive coming downhill. Now we have to be careful about play action, but as the user, we can trust ourselves to come down, get back, really gauge if it's play action. So I really like to consider this more like nine players in run flits with us kind of slow playing to the ball either way at this strong safety position. So I like to keep a little more depth here. If they run weak a few times, I can you know shade this way. If they're really running strong, we can shade this way. So that is how we check run fits. Okay, now we're gonna talk about if they come out in more of a balanced set. So now we have strong slot. What did I say? We have a fullback and tight end on one side of the ball. Then we have two receivers on the other. So we're gonna come out in this. We'll come out in a power O to the strong side as well. But now we are gonna come out in just base cover four quarters. Now what do we look here, guys? I like to play base line on, but we have a much more balanced look. Because it's an under set, our D line is still gonna be shifted a gap over to the strength, to the tight end, but that is fine. They're still gonna be more likely to run to that side, but now we're not gonna be out leveraged to one side of the ball. What I'll do, I'll just bring my safeties into the box and you can really use our, either one of the safeties if you would like, or you can use our linebacker depending how you like to play match coverage. Now, if you haven't, you know, play, if now if you don't know how cover four quarters works, you can, you know, check out my membership on Scheme Kings or I have a full cover four quarters breakdown, how exactly it works. Type in King Reggie cover four quarters on YouTube. It's like one of my most popular videos. I think it's really good at explaining how this coverage works. But as far as run D guys, this gives us a really balanced, even look on, you know, they can run either way here, but we're not gonna be out leveraged. We're gonna keep a really balanced, balanced look. And then if we look at our run fits, once again, guys, we look right, we have nine players in run fits. We look left, we have nine players in run fits. We have both of our safeties coming down in the box, filling in the run. We have all our front seven players. So that's going to give us a really balanced look. Either way they decide to run, we're not going to get out leverage. We're just going to run another QB power or uh, HB power here. Everyone's going to fire down to the ball, nine players in run fits. So, okay. So that is it guys. We're going to hop into some gameplay really quick. Here. I just wanted to bring up one thing guys. I actually just started a second channel now This is gonna be where I live stream from now on I've done it for the last like week week and a half and I'm gonna be moving my live streams to twice a week It's called King Reggie live. I will leave a link down in the description I'm gonna be streaming every Tuesday and Thursday You can see all of my schemes live me running them in game see how effective they actually are So if you guys are doing me a huge favor check the description and, and go sub to that second channel If you guys are interested in ever seeing me live because it really won't be popping up on my main King Reggie channel. Okay, let's go look at the gameplay of these two rundies. All right, guys, so here it is with our scrape three. And what do we see on this side of the ball? We have three tight ends out here. What do we have? We have our strong safety walking down. Now it's gonna be much tougher that for them to set this edge 
hook these players inside and get their stretches, their tosses, anything to the outside. Mo majority of people, guys, when they're running the ball, especially if they're using three tight ends, two tight ends, a wing set, they are trying to get the edge. They're trying to keep everyone inside and we're really gonna try to limit that. Now we look, I'm using this high safety, gonna bring him down in the box. Now you can more play in the center field depending if you think they're gonna run weak, but bring him down in the box, start getting pretty aggressive as far as your run D, help, you know, help fill in the run. Now we look here also, I slanted my D-line let right. So I'm really assuming these guys are gonna be running right, so just be aware of that. Now right here, we're gonna run it. And what do we see? We see a stretch right, right? Like the three tight ends, we, we're really assuming they're gonna try to set the edge here, run to the strength. So what do we see here, guys? We see my strong safety that I walked down. Look at him set that edge. He's firing up field. Yes, he's getting blocked, but it is gonna be so hard for this player to bounce this outside. By then, all our flow is gonna start coming. So we're gonna run this a little more and just look at that. Look at that, set the edge. There is no shot that he is gonna get outside there. Here's our linebacker from the second level coming in, filling this gap. And then we get a shed on our defensive end here or our outside linebacker, fire and gain a one. Okay, same thing. Now, what do we see? We see a receiver, tight end, fullback on the left side of the field. So trying to outnumber us on this side of the ball ag again. What do we have? We have our safety walking down, setting the edge, making it super difficult to get outside of us here. Once again, I'm using this high safety, walking into the box. What do we see here? Power O to the left. What do we have? Look at our outside player here, guys, setting the edge. It is so hard to out leverage us on the outside of the ball there. Look at that, edge is set. This player is our linebacker coming up and filling. Our backside linebacker scraping across the ball. D end is setting the edge here, outside linebacker. And then our, you know, high side middle linebacker comes in, fills that gap and takes him down in the backfield. Okay, another one, what do we have? We have one tight end on this side of the ball. We have one tight end, two tight end, three tight end. So we're gonna go to our scrape. We're gonna go to our scrape three. On this one, like they obviously can run to the weak side. So I come, kind of come down and fill weak side a little bit here with my high side safety, but we're just gonna let this run. What do we have? Outside stretch. Look at Humphrey. You're gonna see him do this every once in a while. It's a little bit risky. So this is the strong safety shooting in the backfield and making a play. Now, this is obviously risky because he's not setting the edge. So if he misses the play here, like they're gonna get the edge really easily, but really just watch him on this play, guys. This is just a crazy play. Look at him just shoot inside get in the backfield and make a play. So you're gonna see him like freelance a little bit there. But here we go again. Now this one, he actually runs weak. And I just wanted to show, look at our inside stuff. So when they really try to shove the ball in the middle, really trying to run it up the gut, we have two inside stuffs on the inside that are just gonna absolutely wreck shit. So that's why I really wanna set the edge on the outside, force them back into our two inside stuffs that are gonna be blowing stuff up in the middle. So that is really the whole idea with this. One more right here, what do we have? Tight end receiver fullback overloading the right side. Here we go. Now what do we see? We are actually running counter. So what they're gonna do, they see we're overloading this side. They're gonna run counter backside with the Derrick Henry fullback guard out in front trying to get kick out blocks. But this is still a really solid run D week, but this is where as the user, I wanna be careful. I don't wanna get firing down too far this way. They try to run counter. We have two inside stuffs. Look at Will Fork, fire up field, Sharif Floyd, now we have our two up, you know, high linebackers scraping down to this side. We have my user coming into the play. We tackle him for like a one yard gain. Okay, now looking at cover four quarters, we look here, bring our safeties down. This, they can run either way, so we wanna stay balanced. Once again, a little counter with Derrick Henry, and we are just firing down to the football. We have nine guys filling gaps, nine guys firing down to the ball, and we get Derrick Henry for like a one yard gain. Same thing, cover four quarters right here. This safety I brought way down in the box, but right here I brought this other one just kinda high, but what do we see, a tight end receiver, fullback and receiver. Balance set, come out in our quarters right here. They were, try to run power to this side, it looks like. Totally just shooting the backfield there. Sharif Floyd does a great job of getting up field and making him stop his progress. Coming back into the hole, meeting Ray Lewis and Ray just blows him up. And one more, here we go. Bring Ramsey down, bring Humphrey down. So what do we see? We see a receiver and tight end. We have a one running back on this side, but this is 
pretty balanced because if the fullback goes this way, now they could out leverage us. So this one's kind of hit or miss. Would you rather play quarters or, you know, the SS scrape? But this one, we're playing quarters. You can really call quarters against anything and it's going to be a solid run D. Sharif Floyd kind of mucking stuff inside. Look at our safeties. Corners coming downhill. Like quarters, they're going to be super aggressive in run fits and just meet Derrick Henry in the backfield. Once again, like a one yard game. This is going to give you a shut down run D, but that is not enough to have a complete defense. So if you want to add one of the best blitzing schemes in Madden that is going to do a great job of shutting down some of those super tough to stop pass offenses, you need to check out this video right here.